having this strategy means in practical terms, let's assume I'm not uh, the United Nations, but a small or medium-sized company. Having this strategy means what? If tomorrow and the next day, a Saturday and Sunday, I want to sit down and build that strategy, Ravita, and you're not going to be there. What can you leave me of your experience so that I can do something practically effective for myself? Yeah, so very good question. So let's put this into practical terms. When you start with the first step, understanding your business objectives. As a company, for example, if you're in the service industry, do you want to reduce your support costs by moving some of that online? That's a business objective. Do you want to create more awareness of your company because you've just entered and there are a lot of other companies in the space and you want to create bigger awareness of you as a company? Do you have a new product launch that you want people to learn more about or you want people to come and try? Whatever your business objective, set that in place. Once you've done that, figure out where your customers are spending time right now. And you can do that by using keywords to track where they are. So if you're a service provider, use keywords that have to do with your services. Use keywords <coughs> that have to do with your company, uh, the, the customer descriptions um, that you have. Go look for these customers. See what they're saying. Try to engage in a conversation with them. See what's valuable to them. Set metrics. For example, if you're a service company and you want to reduce support costs, would reducing support calls by 10% be sufficient for you? If you did that, how much money would that translate to and how much time would that save you? That is a very hard metric that you can measure against. You want to do that. Make sure you take your benchmark metrics, though, so you know where you're starting from. But if you're a company, for example, that has product and you have inventory that you want to get rid of, see how, how fast you can get rid of that inventory or additional inventory that you can um, sell using online media. If you want to create awareness, look at how many people come to your website or order from you as a result of your online media activities. Set those in place and then and only then assess the resources that you have in place, how much time you can allocate to that, look at the channels that those customers spend time on and start creating your campaign around those specific objectives. Do it very small because you can always grow, but if you start too big, you'll stretch too thin. So start that way and then test how that went and iterate from what you've learned.